Yo guys, what is up? Welcome to another video. In this one we're going to be sorting out this speed controller ready for a hoverboard motor. So we have to connect two power cables, three motor cables, some header pins for some controls and a hole sensor. So it's a little bit of soldering, there's not loads and they're not really tiny bits so we should be okay. So we got most of the wires ready. Um, I just need to get the red and the black one for the power, but these ones will be okay for now. So obviously to start, we've just got to strip all these. So we've got these cheapy wire strippers, I've had these for about five years and they've been great. Okay, so now we've got all the wires ready, they're all stripped, good to go. Now we can start getting the soldering iron warmed up and ready to solder. So this one here, it's a, a gas powered um, wireless soldering iron. Now I was a bit sort of, well I wasn't sure when I first got it, if it was going to be any good. But um, after using it for a couple of months I think it's great. I did buy an electric one at the same time and that one's still in its packaging, so that's how good this one is. So it's got the ignition part here and you've got a power set in here. So there we go, fire it up, you gotta turn the gas on and then it starts burning up inside and then we just leave it for a while till it gets hot enough. And while that's warming up
Okay, here we are. I've got it connected up to the battery. I've got it connected up to a motor. And we're just going to test it, make sure it works. And there we go. Works perfectly. So, yep, yeah, I'll put a link in the description where to get these from. Also included with the wiring diagram. Um, okay, and that's it. If you want more videos like this, and if you want to keep watching so one day eventually we'll have this thing up and running with the four motors um, subscribe like the video and if you have any questions don't forget to leave a comment and that's it thanks for watching